Did, did Leonardo have a guy off to the side that was thinking five years out in the future what he would paint or the technology he would use to paint it? Of course not. Leonardo was the artist, but he also mixed all his own paints. He also was a, a fairly good chemist, knew about pigments, uh, knew about human anatomy, and combining all of those skills together, the art and the science, the thinking and the doing, was what resulted in the exceptional result. And there is no difference in our industry. The people that have really made the contributions have been the thinkers and the doers. And when you, when you, uh, a lot of people, of course, it's, it's very easy to take credit for the thinking. Uh, the doing is more concrete, but somebody, it's very easy for somebody to say, oh, I thought of this three years ago. But uh, usually when you dig a little deeper, you find that the people that really did it were also the people that really worked through the hard intellectual problems as well. Hey guys, Richard Bronson here. That was a really great video from Steve Jobs. I love Steve Jobs. He is one of the greatest creative minds of all time, up there with Elon Musk, Leonardo da Vinci, and so many other people. I wanna to talk to you guys about something, and please stick around for the video because I think that you guys need to hear this. I think people who are thinkers and doers, people who are big dreamers, people who are stuck working at their corporate jobs, people who are stuck working at Wendy's and McDonald's, people who are stuck working at their car, uh, manufactured places, people who work as anything, people who work as anything. This video is for you, so please, I'm begging you, stick around, because you gotta watch this. I got a job, I work at a warehouse, and I'm trying to come up with side houses. What's the thing I do? I grab this book. This is a goal book, okay? I grab this goal book, and I say, hey, what are some really great things? So then I put my, if you, if you can look at this, these goals, these goals, I put in 2021, 2020 planned goals. The reason why this right here is marked off a lot is because I completed most of those goals that I thought I could never do within six months. So side hustles start happening. I'm thinking about side hustles. I'm watching James Janney, I'm, I'm watching uh, Pat Bet David, I'm watching a lot of people, and I'm saying dreams, 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 goals, goals, side hustles, side hustles. I need money, I need to make passive money. So then I think about some side hustles. One of them was reselling shoes, reselling clothes. Uh, another one was going on Twitch. Uh, another one was um, reselling books. One was, I was gonna work on a book. I was supposed to work on a book. Researching shoes, door dashing was one of them as well, which is currently as, if you watched my last video, which you should go check out, I door dash, I door dash. I was gonna be reselling shoes, okay? I looked up all things, learn how to autofill, use your credit card, Jordan Travis Scott ones. Uh, you know, incremental rollouts, exclusivity, influencer marketing, uh, consumer empowerment, the reasons why people buy the shoes. I did that. I failed horribly. I bought a couple of, if I recall right, um, Jordan light bulbs for women. I did not know anything about shoes at all whatsoever. I just went in and hit first. Failed. Olive canvas green Jordans. Mid. Failed. Don't buy mids. Yeezys. Fake. Came back, got my money back, thankfully, fail. Another Yeezy got sold to me, paid for, 180, fail. I couldn't sell it back on the market. I, actually, I was impatient. I sold it too early, uh, sold it for 90 because I, I didn't think no one was going to buy it. And if someone came back later, offer up and said, hey, I want 190 for it. What? I said 180. The moral of the story of this, guys, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your family, your friends, your teachers, your coworkers, your bosses, people that you admire could sit there and tell you right now, why are you doing what you're doing? It's a waste of time. It's a waste of space. Go out there and be like everyone else. Go work like everyone else. Go do this like everyone else. They got a point. You should go work. You need money. You should get a job like everyone else. This is true, that's not a lot. Where people get is they start thinking that that's the way things are supposed to be. Your girlfriend, your brother, your family, your boyfriend, your coworkers, your people, anybody you work with, they think this is the way it's supposed to be. This is what separates millionaires, billionaires, and the working class people. The way things are supposed to be. Oh my God, how could he get rich? He was with, he had, he had a cousin. He, how could he get rich? He's a millionaire. Of course he's, he, no, that's not say there's some millionaires that don't got connections. Of course. Of course they got connections. You sound stupid to me. I hate when people try, start talking about, oh my God, millionaires, millionaires. 
How could a millionaire have a connection? Look at them having connections. Their dad did this for him. Their mother did this for him. They did this for him. They did this for him. Well, duh. Well, duh. Why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad? You don't know this, but every single day, it may happen to you. Just on a smaller level. You have your grandmother. Your grandmother's been working at the church for several years. All right? They need a new, they need a spokesperson. They need somebody. Okay? They choose you, the grandson to your grandmother who has been at the church for decades. Why did they choose you? Well, they chose you because they know your grandmother. Oh my God, you just got in because they know your grandmother. Whoa! That's no problem at all. You think to yourself. But we're millionaires though. Oh, my his dad, working at this place for years. He got his son in. Look at that shit. Terrible, awful. I hate when this happens. It's the same thing. It's literally the same thing, bro. Let me show you something real quick. You know what this is? To all my sneakerheads out there, you know what this is. This is a Yeezy Foam Posit, okay? One of the best shoes I've ever worn in my life. They're comfortable as hell. They're really great. They're sleek. I like the design. The aesthetic is amazing. I like the airflow that goes through it. You know, it doesn't make my uh, feet that sweaty. I, don't, I mean, it's just a great shoe, okay? I wore this shoe for the first time going to Kroger's. One person was behind me and said, that shit looks ugly. Could've done two things. Could've said, wow, you're right. Bye, easy. Or, I could've chose to keep wearing it and see what happens. Tell me why nurses, doctors, students, people, anyone I would go wear wearing these shoes, they look at it, this looks comfortable. This looks good. This is, looks aerodynamic. That shoe was nice. Where you get that shoe from, bro? Do you resell shoes? Well, I used to, but I failed. Oh my goodness, what's going on? This shoe, is a good shoe. But many of you out there have that one person behind you, bro. Many of you out there have that one man, have that one person out there that says that looks ugly. It could be your dad, your your uh, your mother, your family members, whoever it may be. They you 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 love that. You love this shoe. But you hear this person say, who who you hold significant, that's ugly. And you're like, oh, you're right. My, I should just go. I should just go ahead and say, forget about it. Don't forget about it, bro. Live your dream. Do what you are designed to do. Do what you're destined to do. You got a gift, bro. Use it. Many of the same people that complain at you every single day are people who can't even hold their job together. Many people talk to you, do the same thing every single day. They're mad because you do something different than what they do. They go out there. They uh, go go leave. Go wake up. Go to work. Come back. Eat. Go to sleep. Every single day with their one day being Sunday. And that's it. That isn't normal. That isn't right. And I want to say, hey, everybody who has, do, does do that, good job. I love you. All right. You do help out a lot. Doctors, nurses, people. Good job. I'm not trying to say this isn't for everybody. What I'm trying to say is this isn't for some people. And some of you people need help unlocking what's right and what's wrong. Anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget, be a dreamer and a doer. Don't be a hater all your life, bro. Because one day you'll sit back and look at yourself, looking at this, looking at your kid, looking at your daughter, your son, who's dreaming, and sit back to yourself and say, oh my God, I was a hater. How could I be? Dad, you're a hater. Mom, you're a hater. You are. Stop hating all your life, bro. Do something. Go live your dreams, bro. It's easy. It's nice. All right, guys. Follow me on Instagram at Bronson Habits of Life. And if you like the video, again, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later on the next video. Peace.